Hello and welcome TGS fans. As you can see on screen, I have lost my marbles. Anyways, we're playing against Blue, who has replaced Rai. Uh, and uh, this is a really bad matchup, I feel, unfortunately. As you can see quite clearly, my Qian Pao is not making an appearance. This is due to several reasons, one being Alola Ninetales just completely hardwalling it, as well as Azumarill hardwalling it, as well as Quillfish Intimidate, plus, uh, you know, it's just another Fairy Week Mon, and uh, probably going to be Fairy Gambit, plus uh, Azumarill, you know, plus Ninetales, like Triple Fairy or something like that. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, this T-Tar is pretty cool, right? <laughs> so, um, so here's how this team's gonna work, right? I think the top five are, like, almost guaranteed, right? Pult, Gambit, Azu, Crook, Ninetales. I find it really hard to believe any of those would be benched. And so the last mod, I feel like, is probably gonna be Thundee or Quillfish, right? Or Driftblim, right? But probably Quillfish or Thundee. And here's the idea, right? If there is no Quillfish, I will lead with my Cloyster and I will get T-Spikes up versus like most of his guys. The only things that would stop me from getting my T-Spike immediately is a Dragovolt lead. Um, but yeah. Also, this is Terra Electric Special Cloyster. Um, but basically, if there's no Quillfish, I'm getting T-Spikes up and then <laughs> this T-Tar set goes really crazy. Like, unironically, semi-ironically, you know what I mean? So Sand Tomb, uh, if you are unaware, is a partial trapping move um, for 4 to 5 turns. And I can sub-protect with Leftovers. And um, this, like, low-key lets me 1v1 King Gambit, like, low-key, though. If he goes for an SD and he's, like, not Leftovers or something, or I, like, knock off the Leftovers on the Switch and then I Sand Tomb him as he, like, SDs, I can just straight up 1v1 him. Uh, with the combination of sand and sand tomb, it's like 75% if it's four turns, so that's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, and then I have Scarf Sand Rush Drill because I think Scarf Dragapult is like super good into me. It revenges Cloyster and it would revenge uh, Sand Rush Drill, it's faster, as well as it revenges DD Necrozma, which I am bringing by the way. So I think Scarf Pult is definitely possible, and I'm not really hard banking on sand. Uh, for my drill, more so I think Scarf Drill is good, and if I do need something super mega ultra fast, like this hits 906 with the sand and the scarf, um, then I have that option, right? This also helps cover for any mirror herb on my cloister. Uh, I can get sand and revenge whatever at plus two. Uh, yeah. Now the Krozma is going to be my rocker. Uh, pretty bulky, a weakness policy, Brick Break is going to allow me to potentially lure the Crocodile, uh, which is nice. And then Photon, Brick Break just kind of hits everything. Uh, yeah, this is my Stealth Rocker. If I can get Stealth Rocks up and a trade, then I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah. And then Keldeo is going to be Choice Specs uh, with Hyper Beam, because once again I have lost my marbles. And uh, Azumarill is very scary. Uh, especially if my Cloyster is used up early game to get T-Spikes, uh, then it could be weakened in range of Aqua Jet. Um, so this just gives me a way to always revenge Belly Drum Azumarill, like no matter what, as long as I hit. And then he'll get a free SD with his Gambit and I'll probably lose anyways, but hey, we didn't lose to Yazu, you know what I'm saying? Cloyster we already went into, but let's say Ice Beam Terra Blast with uh, Electric Special. Uh, special is actually really cool here because he has double Intimidate. Plus, um, King Gambit has naturally higher physical defense, so physical Cloyster is like really bad into him, like almost unusable. But special actually looks hella good. Like I did the calcs, and it kind of okos most of his guys. Uh, that's why I really expect the Scarf Dragapult. I thought about running Endure Custap, but it's like so easy for him to just pivot out and then like revenge with priority because he has several priority options on his team. So I decided to go with T-Spikes. And then Excadrill is a Terra Ground, by the way. Um, if I am able to get the T-Spike and save my Terra, um, then, you know, Terra Ground is pretty cool. Or wait, no. That's actually opposite, right? If I'm unable to get T-Spikes because he has Quillfish, this is this is my thought press, I, I remember. 
If he brings Quillfish, he probably doesn't have Thunderous, which means there's no ground resist. So either T-Spikes are going to go ham, or Earthquake's going to go ham. That's why I have Terra Ground. That's like the thought process anyways. And then I have Physically Defensive Noivern with Helmet. This is like just in case I need to chip Gambit, uh, although he's going to Terra Blast me, which doesn't make contact, but you know, it is what it is. Mainly here to stop Crocodile. Uh, Scarf Crook is definitely a major threat here. And um, Azumarill, I can also chip with uh, Super Fang Rocky Helmet. Uh, that thing being dead is quite good for my Keldeo. Uh, if Azu dies, then I kind of just spam Hydro Pump. Uh, and then uh, kind of collect every time. Because I don't think he wants to risk Dragapult. Even then, it's specs modest. So like if Hydro hits, I'm cooking. Alright. And then uh, Draco Flamethrower is just good coverage. I I'm just really <laughs> interested to see if this tar will work out. Um, let me check my abilities. I have Overcoat because I don't need the skill link when I don't have Icicle Spear and I want to be immune to my own uh, Sandstorm. Alright. Poopin' Bigly. Let's go. Alright. And there is no Quillfish, so I can attempt to get my T-Spike up. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and link the battle to the pals in the league. There we go. Alright, so it's Terra Dark on the King Gambit, which is... Not what I expected. I expected fairy for sure. So is that good for me or bad for me? The world may never know. What it does mean is Sucker Punch is like really, really strong. So I have to watch out for that. Um, my Necrozma won't be able to weakness policy versus it most likely. But it does make my Keldeo a little bit better. Right? Because he's not going to be able to hit it immediately for like a Oko. Like Terra Fairy would be able to. So my goal early game is to get up a T-Spike. Um, or, you know, if I'm unable to, that's fine. Um, let's see. Can I just lead with it? Like I said, Dragapult's the only thing that really, like, hard prevents me, or, like, Specs Ninetales would also prevent it. But, other than that, I think I should be alright. Noivern in. Alright. I could also lead Keldeo, it's pretty good. Pretty good at everything except Azu, but is Azu going to lead here? Maybe, right? It's not a terrible lead. I could lead Necrozma, takes a hit from pretty much anything, uh, and get up, get up my rocks. He doesn't really have removal, so I kind of like that idea. Yeah, I, I kind of like that, actually. I'm going to lead my Necrozma. See what he wants to do. Thunderous. This is fine. Uh, I probably am just going to get up my rocks. He could T-wave me. That's fair. Uh, he taunts. Okay, but I am offensive, so this is fine. What's he going to do? Volt switch? Uh, T-bolt? U-turn. Okay, I'll take that. Losing my item means Crook will never KO me with knockoff, so... What he can do is go King Gambit, right? I almost Brick Brick there. But, I didn't, so... <laughs> Does King Gambit Sucker Punch kill me? If he Terra's, of course. Terra Dark, Sucker Punch. That's Black Glasses, though. He probably wouldn't be Black Glasses. Maybe he would be, but it does 77 max. So I'm probably gonna live, right? If King Gambit comes in, I'll just stay in and Brick Break after. I think that's the play. If he's like black glasses, then oh well, you know? That means he's not leftovers, which means my Tyranitar set goes crazy. King Gambit does come in. That's annoying. He doesn't know if I'm special or physical, though. So he could think he's safe chairing and just kowtowing. So let's see. I'm plus two. Brick Break does 70 to 83 if he's... Max HP, I do like 60-something. Is that worth my whole ass Necrozma? Because then I won't be getting rocks, is the thing. I kind of just want to go Keldeo here, no? And then I'll get my rocks up later. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just attack it. 
Bow. And Kowtow will kill me. But this is good chip on Gambit. Like, I needed this weekend anyways. Uh, let's see. And he's now weak to T-Spikes. I'm gonna go Keldeo to Revenge. And just click Hydro Pump. Azumarill comes in. Is this AV? 41, that is not AV. Just double check my damage. So that is... Oh, that's like... Could that be AV? AV offensive, maybe? No, it's just like Spadef-ish. <laughs> it's probably bulky banded. That's probably it. I could go Cloister and get T-Spike up here. That could be worth it. Because now T-Spike hits 5. <laughs> and uh, my Cloister is probably not going to sweep, right? Yeah, I might just go hard cloister. Banded? No, not banded. Okay. This is actually hella good for me, actually. I assume, anyways. Maybe he's five boots. <laughs> Probably gonna go hard dragapult here if I had to guess. That seems like a good play on his part. Or just stay in, play rough again. So overall, I'm probably down here, but the T-Spike is going to be pretty big. The Ninetales is likely to be defensive, just because I have a Chien Pao on the bench. Uh, he'll have to have prepped for that. He's thinking real good Lee right here. Crocodile comes in. Um, I could just Ice Beam this, honestly. I really want this weekend for my Excadrill, actually. And he can't kill me, right? Well, in that case, wouldn't I just Shell Smash? I'm pretty sure I crept a Scarf Crook with this. Right? Yeah, I'm faster than Scarf Crook. Um, does Ice Beam kill just Raw? It could kill Raw. What's he going to do to me? Knock Off? I don't know what this does to me. Does this like earth power? <laughs> uh, focus blast maybe? He's 65 special attack. If he's earth power, so be it, right? He's probably just gonna get rocks up, no? This is his rocker. If I shell smash, then I probably get a kill with ice beam, right? I don't know, it seems fine to me. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I will be faster than this. And uh, I can just Ice Beam. Bow, bow, bow. Because <laughs> I would have taken the Earthquake either way. And Ice Beam isn't guaranteed to kill it, just raw anyways. So I may as well smash. This does give him the opportunity of saving HP on Crook and sacking something else. But I'm okay with that. And I don't even need to Terra this game. Azumarill's already weakened. Uh, and I don't want to weaken myself to Aqua Jet anyways. So I probably kill this and then Scarf Pult comes in. I'm assuming that's going to happen. Or it'll be like Scarf Alolan Ninetales. But if it is Scarf Alolan Ninetales, it'll take uh, Spikes. Or T-Spike. And I'll be able to know that because defensive should be Boots. I do reveal that I'm special here, which is, it's whatever. Uh, Gambit could come out, but I could attempt to outplay the Sucker Punch, and he knows that. So that's probably not the best play. But if he's not Scarf Pull, that might be his only play, right? But Cloyster kind of got off its whole nut. It killed Crook and got a T-Spike, and it's already still threatening another KO, potentially. Maybe if he's if he prepped really badly, I can just win here. <laughs> Let's see. The Azu. Let's just call it that. Because we can calc the play rough. Oh, he's like... 
Playoff did like 34, right? So he's like just adamant no investment basically. And like maybe maybe he's boots Spadef to deal with Keldeo. Would that make sense? And in that case, Terra Blast would just uh, not kill from here. But we can calc the Hydro damage. Keldeo. Because Keldeo did 41, so it's probably like, I don't know, maybe something like that. That's like kind of likely. And if I'm plus two. Oh, Ninetales does take T Spike. He thought real hard about this though, so he might not be Scarf and he just wants to live one. Yeah, because he definitely lives one. It could be Rocky Helmet as well if it was defensive. So this could make sense either way. Uh, regardless, I kind of just want to find out. Cloyster's done his job. Um, do I just Ice Beam or Terra Blast? Terra Blast is a little stronger, right? Yeah. It's like 45, which is not a lot, but it's honest work. 55. So he's offensive nine tails. Right? Yeah, offensive nine tails. So it could be Specs versus me. That's like a very likely set. It's not Scarf, so I can go Noivern and outspeed. Uh, his Noivern switch-ins are pretty low. I can also go T-Tar. I can also go Scarf Drill. I think I might go Scarf Drill here. Uh, rock, uh, rock Slide is actually pretty free into him. But if I go Drill, that invites in Azu after. But I guess so does Noivern. But then I can get Helmet on him. I don't really need my Noivern healthy anymore. Because King Gambit's already low, Crook is already dead. That's the main two things I brought it for. Um, I could just Flamethrower with Noivern. I think that might be possible. Invite Azu in and then just trade with Super Fang. And then it's uh, Ninetales. Uh, Ninetales would be dead, potentially. And then it's Pult, Thundee, Gambit versus my T-Tar. And my T-Tar actually might just win this. Thundee is U-Turn, Taunt, T-Bolt, probably. And it's going to need a move to hit Excadrill. So it's probably going to be Focus Blast, which sucks for my T-Tar. But what can you do? Uh, my Drill will be faster, though. Um... Yeah, that being at full is kind of not great for me. I don't really want to reveal Scarf Drill already anyways. So maybe I want Noivern for the Thunderous anyways. Hmm. So if I go Noivern and kill this, I don't want to sack it to the Azu after. So I think my best play might just be to go Drill and Rock Slide. Does Rock Slide... Rockslide won't kill Gambit, but I'm okay with that. Because I can always pivot Keldeo on Gambit. Is Keldeo HP useful outside of that? Not really, right? It's only for Pult taking a Drake when I have a whole T-Tar right there. So I'm just going to go Drill and Rockslide. I believe it to be my best play. This will cover Thunderous. Covers Stay In. Um, and you can't really switch into Rockslide with T-Spike up. If I miss, that sucks. But, yeah. He could also just be Specs, right? Because he's offensive. Uh, and in that case, he wouldn't be able to touch my drill anyways. If Thunderous ever goes down, I'm pretty sure I just uh, Terra EQ and win the game with Sand Up because I'm faster than Pult. And uh, T-Spike will put it in range. I'm pretty sure, like, Dragapult is, like, really close to getting O-Code by EQ just raw. Right? Okay, it just dies, but that's a uh, hasty. It'll be timid. So, yeah, like one turn of T Spike will basically do it. Plus, I'll have sand up, right? There's no getting out of that. Worst case, I miss here as he goes into some. Oh, he goes thunderous. That's really good for me. Hold up. Hold the telephone. Yeah, I'm just going to rock slide again. I'm the goat. 
goat tendencies, potentially. Yeah, this dies my drill. I think just switches out, comes back in, and EQs. Because his Ozu is revealed like just adamant, no investment, basically. Maybe like 16 or something, something low. It, Aqua Jet is not going to kill my drill. It's going to do like 60-ish uh, percent. Maybe like high 50s. And that's like just simply not enough. Maybe that in combination with Gambit uh, Sucker Punch. That's the only thing that really stops me, right? But if he goes Gambit, I can just go um, Keldeo, I can go Titar, I can go Noivern. So many options. And he does let me have the Thunderous. That's awesome. Azumarill comes in. Now, what do I want to do here? I could sack Keldeo. Could sack Noivern. Because I wanted Noivern to outspeed Thunderous, but now I don't really need that anymore, right? Noivern is nice into these three. So Noivern plus Titar might be worth saving that combination and going hard Keldeo here. He knows I'm Scarf, so he could just play rough here. Uh, it catches all of my switch-ins, but if I stay in, that's pretty danger. But I really can't risk this anyways, so it's kind of a moot point, you know what I mean? Uh, do I want to just go T-Tar here? Uh, losing that means my pull answers aren't great, especially if Sand runs out and I don't have a uh, drill to be faster. Let me calc uh, this a Sucker Punch versus my drill. Let's say he has two Fallen is a roll. Three Fallen is probably going to kill me. Yeah, basically. And he's going to have three Fallen by the time it comes in. So hopefully the T-Spike will be able to finish it off. But I basically need my Sand plus T-Spike plus maybe Helmet to counter the Gambit and free up my Drill to win. You can always reset my Sand with uh, Nine Tails as well. But maybe he's not thinking of Sand Rush plus Scarf being faster than Pult. But also his Pult probably isn't Scarf because he would have Revenged Cloister with it, right? So maybe I'm overthinking this and I can just sack Keldeo here. I think I am going to sack Keldeo. He's probably going to play rough. He rests. Okay. Um, now what? Do I just hyper beam? <laughs> I feel like I might just hyper beam this. I chip this in range of EQ. Uh, this is tough, actually. I didn't expect the rest. Maybe I should have with it being so bulky. But also, what was I supposed to do instead? Not much. I'm just going to Hyper Beam. Bow! <laughs> and I die. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But now I can just go Drill. And Earthquake should be a kill here. I don't need to Terra yet. It's useful to keep the Dragon Resist. It does 57, but this is fine. Getting rid of the Azu is great for my T-Tar. As well as my Noivern. My Noivern couldn't kill it. Because it was Draco Flame. But now my Noivern's an offensive threat. If Gambit comes... Well, he basically has to go Gambit and get a Sucker Mind Game, right? Uh, or go Dragapult. But for Dragapult, I have T-Tar just ready to go. And if he goes Gambit, I can always go Noivern, I think. Because he's not going to be Terra Blast, Kowtow, Sucker. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So my Noivern being Fizdef should help me out here. And Helmet as well as Big with T-Spike. If he's Boots, that sucks, but we'll cross that road when we get there. Aster with the Holy. <laughs> yeah, Modest Specs uh, Keldeo with Hyper Beam. Very funny, very unhinged. Is Pult just going to be like Specs or like Sub or maybe it could be Wisp. That's something that could happen. He does get Poison. This is really big for me. I'm going to go Noivern here. I think that is probably my best play. Mental Herb. Okay. Iron Head. Okay. This is awesome for me. I think I can just Roost. Um, let's see. Terra Dark. Kowtow with three Fallen, right? Yeah, three Fallen. We know it's not a boosting item. Versus my Noivern. 
it's going to do a lot, <laughs> but it's not going to kill me, which is the important part. As long as it's alive, it can check nine tails. And also, I don't really need this to check nine tails. I can just roost. Like, I know I could have just attacked it and uh, outplayed the sucker punch there, but I really don't need to. That's like needlessly reckless. The HP on this doesn't matter. It just needs to be alive, and this guarantees it being alive. Now, I assume he has to go Pult here. And then I will just go Titar. It's Balloon. That's really good knowledge to know, actually. So maybe I just... Uh, maybe I sack this to allow a free knock. Is that a better play? Because if Ninetales comes in, I just knock it. And then I can sack Drill and then win with Titar, right? Is there any way that would mess up? Let's see, this dies. Titar comes in, knocks off the nine tails on the switch in. How much does that do? Uh, he's offensive. And it would be in snow. So knock does 22. He's dead to T spike, so he can't even switch. He would have to wisp me first, and then he loses his balloon, he loses to Scarf Drill. So I think I can just uh, Draco this. No? And then I go Titar, and I knock. He's Dragon Darts, so he could be U-Turn. Physical. I think he has to wisp or do something weird. I don't know, I think knock just wins. Like, I'm pretty sure I got this right. I don't know what he could possibly do to T-Tar with his pull. Let's see, he's Dragon Darts. Let's call it Adamant. Max attack. This doesn't 2 it KO my Tar. Knock off. Oh, that's Dragalgy. <laughs> Dragapult. So that does even less, right? It's about the same. And then knockoff obliterates. Even double crit won't save him. Yeah, nine tails will die to knock plus uh, poison. And even if it doesn't, I have protect. Oh my god, I'm a genius. I'm actually so smart. He has to wisp me and then lose. Like, I don't think there's a way out of this. Because after he wisps me, I can sand tomb, predicting a disable to cover that play, right? I don't know. I feel like he's just goobed. No, because sub disable would be leftovers, not air balloon. So I don't really have to worry about that as much. I think we're chilling. I think we won. I just realized I had this uh, matchup thing uh, on the screen the whole time. We can get rid of that now. It's okay. He misses Wisp anyways. So, unlucky. But I think I had that no matter what. Because I was still doing like, what, 60? At least 60. <laughs> so, um, if anyone doesn't get the reference, um, so back in the day, there used to be these two players called Gypsy King and Matty Brolic. Now they played in a league called the NPL. Pretty sure this is where this uh, this went down. So in the NPL, it was basically a collection of all the best battlers at the time. And but this was like way back in the day, like 2016. Like holy crap! Let me see if I can pull it up on YouTube. Um. Uh, Gypsy King, Matty Brolic, NPL Finals. Is this on YouTube anywhere? Ah, uh, I don't see it. Oh, semifinals maybe? Is this it? Hey, what is it? Gypsy, and we are back here today for NPL Season 8 Semifinals, going up against uh, my brother Matty Brolic. Is this it? 
Brother, it is time. Oh, come on. Don't buffer on me now. Oh, yeah, this is it. This is it for sure. <laughs> Can my video load? Hello? Team? Yo, why is it not loading? There it is. Like you see where it says tie? Tie between Gypsy King and Matty Brolic. Basically, uh, they were unhappy with how the NPL was being ran by the commissioners. So, um, at the end of the battle, when, like, basically it's over, right? Like, this game, I'm not going to go into it at all, but one side was definitely going to win. I don't remember who even, but someone was going to win, and yeah. And they were like, well, actually, I don't want to do any of it. I want to just set timer and nobody clicks a move and then we tie right so <laughs> so that's what we're doing here uh this was semifinals. let me see if he says anything about it uh would have been you know really huge in this game but uh yeah a lot of my team was at the uh we're doing react content kind of weakness uh, when it came to speed but using coon again was a lot of fun i really enjoyed using garchomp even though i brought like or does he say it? We're doing react this. content out here. He has like seek, he goes, he this is such a long video. Yeah, at this point in the game, um, I, I say in the chat to, to Maddie that, uh, you know, good game, man. I, I cannot, uh, what do I say? GG, bro, I don't think I can beat this without Plume. Uh, go win finals. Anyway. Uh, oh, Maddie hacked his Plume earlier in the game. Very, uh, very, very fun game versus Maddie. Uh, I think he built and played it very, very well. Um, he did what he needed to to get around my team. I think this Keldio was the real cornerstone of his team working very effectively. Uh, Selly as well. I Hurry think up, man. We don't got all day. How I could beat it, but this this Keldio was just uh, too big of an obstacle for my sort of slow. It's too big of an obstacle, man. We might have to go to the. We might have to go to the comments for this. Maddie, thirty minute shirtless rant about his frustrations with the NPL and quitting in the drama surrounding the tie. Gypsy, oh, that was like a little joke between us. Yeah, shout out. Um, something, something. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this meme is six years old. It is, Aster, and we're bringing it back. <laughs> GG. So, uh, shout out to Blue for agreeing to do this with me. Uh, basically, uh, I'm just going to knock, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was scarf nine tails, but it was slower than my uh, cloister, so it was modest scarf. Or he like missed the speed creep. <laughs> Anyways, that's gonna be the game, and uh, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. <laughs>